all right and then let's merge a car okay and then click all and then click OK now you have a giant car so um, we need to reduce its size so click the scale tool and then let's reduce the size of car alright that's it and then uh, let's make group and then from front view the car should be stack sticked on the road um, all right and then let's move to the right position around here I think car is still big so I'm gonna reduce more all right so good I want to place around here all right and then let's render this oh well, uh, finally we have this rendering scene okay let's see um, but I think I have one complaint about the shadow the shadows are the shadow is too dark right now right so you cannot see what's going on here and the car is not really um, you cannot see car as well because the shadow is too dark so but I think I'm not gonna change uh, any light value and the the shadow value in 3ds max I think we can change we can adjust um, that through the Photoshop I think that's the more uh, easier way to adjust the shadow quality and the, to produce also to produce the better quality of rendering alright so let's move to Photoshop uh, let's save this image okay so let's save this image as a tiff file all right and then click add S and then you have to check this one store arpa channel okay and then click ok so then uh, let's open the photoshop and then let's open the render file this one all right okay all right to adjust the shadow quality uh, i'm gonna use the curve tool okay so let's go to image and adjustment and then oh i'm sorry image adjust and curve okay we have these windows um, through the adjusting this graph actually we can uh, brighten up this dark side of um, the shadow area all right so in this graph actually you can see this gray area okay this gray part means this gray area is related on uh, the dark side of your image okay and this white side means it's it is related on the bright side of your image okay uh, let's click around here all right and then let's move toward this dot uh, toward this white area okay so around here Okay, and then uh, as you can see, this dark shadow area become more bright. But the problem is the the the, the bright area of your facade is also brightened up. So um, 
now the facade is is burning right now so so we have to reduce that effect okay so here you can click around here and then let's reduce all right let's reduce its brightness around here okay good and then let's click OK and then we can adjust uh, we can just simply apply the auto level and then auto contrast and auto color all right so that's it now we have this um, image I'm going to add more real realistic uh, the sky image through the ARPA channel okay so for that uh, let's let's click this channel and then you can select this ARPA channel alright and then uh, you can select this magic wand tool alright and then you can click this black area alright and then let's go to layer and then you can simply add one layer new layer okay so then let's open the bitmap image of sky in this case I'm gonna use this the sky image okay and then let's select control A is selection and then um, you can copy add copy alright and then let's go back to this layer of your image and then you can paste into the sky into this select area okay and then let's adjust its size control T you can adjust its size okay right and then you can reduce its opacity around here that's it and then um, yeah this is the final rendering image of uh, exterior scene all right I'm I'm comparing um, the original rendered scene uh, and the, the retouching image actually as you can see here in original rendered scene some portion of um, the building is too dark especially the shading area is too dark uh, so the car is not also visible so we changed that problem through the Photoshop so in here you can see a uh, very bright and um, properly shaded area so alright that's it